I think our royalty system. Oh. Yeah. I hear that. It's always gonna be a, a conversation we'd have to you know, discuss. Um or a topic we have to discuss. Um how to monetize our works and then get the monies that we're supposed to get from them. Um from what? Radio plays to even people playing it in the pub, mm -hmm. we need to and the be getting. Of yeah, movies, you understand. You, you wake up in Ghana and then your song is being used for adverts and you know being used in movies. You're like, wait, what's happening? Like, and you're not being paid for it, right? Yeah. So this is a, a huge problem for us. your host Abba Kuma Datsun. I'm warming the seats for your favorite girl Anna. Today's guest is a hot boy. You see how the mm. weather is nice and chill? He brought the heat, okay? <laughs> He's a multiple award-winning musician, Afrobeat high life artist. His current hit song is Sneaky, okay? Mm. He has performed on multiple stages in Ghana and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Mr. True! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Drew. Hello. Listen, the audience have been looking for you for a long time. Really? It's true. They've been asking for you. Well, I'm finally here. So. Welcome, Mr. Drew. Thank you. Are you, you good? You. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm enjoying the vibe. Um, the weather is nice. Yeah, very the nice. The weather is being cool, but you came with a little buttons like you brought some heat. <laughs> like I was sweating. <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. But yeah, yeah, yeah everything is calm. Thank uh, you. You're looking good as well. Oh, uh, thank you. You too. You too. Yeah. The chest, the chest. All I can see is the chest. So when you go to the gym, you release the chest. Anyway, yeah. so let's just go straight into it. We mm -hmm. want to start from the beginning. We want to know yeah. the Mr. Drew before the Mr. Drew. <laughs> so, who was Mr. Drew when he was five? Give me from age five <laughs> to like uni. Mr. Drew was age five. Age mm. five, Mr. Drew was some big headed boy. <laughs> okay. Who was like very quiet. Okay. You know, but silly at the same time. Okay, what schools did you go to? Can you walk us through your Tell JHS? Come and rep from my preschool times. I don't really don't remember. I school. I did like different schools in Dansoma, and I did different schools in Kaneshi, and then um, I finally did. I, I remember JHS. JHS was and primary was um, Good Shepherd oh, okay. International School, and then uh, from there I attended. Uh, Senior High School. Oh yeah, I know, I yeah. know, I know. You went to, you went to Motown. Motown. Yeah, Motown. Motown. Would you, were you a prefect of any sort? No, nothing. No, what you yeah. weren't doing entertainment in school, yeah. I was, I was house ah. uh, entertainment prefect in uh, the house, in, in just, the house, just in the house. Yeah, because if I can quite remember, I, mean, I was just controlling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah, that yeah. secondary school time? Mm -hmm. Or it was after? It was after secondary school, yeah. Okay. It was after Okay, so what did you study in Motown? Um, I did um, visual arts. Oh, hard? Yeah. So you're artsy, you've always yeah, been always artsy. been, always oh, been. Oh, hard. And then what uni did you go to? What did you study? Um, Legon, um, University of Ghana. Ghana, what did you study? Um, I studied political science and then theater arts. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, tell me what, why you combined those two. You have, you had the Charlie, they, they just gave it to me, and oh. then yeah, yeah, yeah. That, those were the <laughs> what options. Did you, what was your heart? Uh, there were a couple what? of options there, and then. But what did you want to do? I I wanted to do anything arts, so I wanted to like venture into the like. But then the what arts. was it called? Dondology, Anna. Eh, uh, uh, dondology was part of it, okay. and there are other things too. There are other you know Accessory. sides to yeah yeah, but okay. yeah um. I just wanted to do everything arts, but yeah, political science happened to like just coming at a point and you know, you had to choose two majors. Can and I so ask you, what's your full name? Andrew Ni Komi Utu. Okay. Yeah. So I'm guessing you had a goddad, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What was your goddad saying with the son that wanted to venture into all things art? Was no, I grew like up with my difficult? mom. Oh, see? Yeah, so it's a single parent thing. And she was okay? Yeah. With the art? Well, at first, she wasn't really 
you know, okay yeah. with it. Oh, we have a sense of a doctor. Everybody I... wanted their... What's the yeah. house the engineer, my man? Hey. You look like you would have killed it as an engineer. Oh, what? <laughs> Okay, so tell me, so you wanted to do art show yeah. with your mom? Yeah, and then um, I, I think that she wanted me to do like, go into like the doc, doctor vibe, you know, okay. yeah, the hospitality vibe. Hey, wait, is it hospitality? No, like medicine. medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry mm -hmm. about that. Medicine. Fine. Yeah, okay. and me, me, I wasn't seeing myself doing At that. At all. Eh? So yeah, I always fought to, you know, do something artsy. I was, I, I entered dance. Like professionally, mm -hmm. I was dancing for other artists around the time that I was in uni. Um, I was I, I, I entered a dance group. Um, yeah, I remember the gentleman. Yeah, right? the gentleman dance yeah. crew. Um, uh -huh. um, yeah, there so, th yeah, there were some people in there, people that joined later that are doing really really well now. I mean, everybody's doing well. Let me remember, there was Showtime. Yeah, there was Showtime. Wasn't was Dan Godloy part? No, he came later. later. Okay, yeah, he okay, joined okay. the crew later, but okay. it was. Um, Showtime, it was Becker and then myself. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Um, Becker traveled, and then it was left with Showtime and I. And then, and then Lloyd, Lord yeah, joined. dance, yeah, Lloyd joined, and then Lloyd left, and then Ziggy joined. True that. Yeah. True that. Yeah. Okay, so where we're going, we're still back. So like yep. uni time, right? Mm -hmm. You are dancing. Yeah. So you are studying political science, mm -hmm. and then you are doing the dance as well. Yeah. When did the music? Part coming. Did you always know that you wanted to sing? Yes, um, I've always loved music, and so like every time I was rehearsing or like any time I heard music, I'd sing along. Right? Okay. Yeah, and um, I always loved to watch like um, reality shows, like American Idol. Same. X oh my God! So you think you can dance? Yeah, I, I, I watch all of that. Me yeah, too. yeah, yeah. I love I love seeing people, <laughs> yeah, you know, explore you. and then like show their talents. So. You know, these are some of the things that I, I loved watching and I'd always wanted to go to one of these things. So, I think I tried X Factor at a point. You did? Yeah, nobody when knows they, that. I, oh I my tried, god, that's I tried sick. X Factor at a point, they didn't pick me. Oh, I tried sorry. Vodafone, Icons. Icons. Hmm. Did you nothing. try Mentor? No, 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 I never, nah, I, never um, tried, I never tried any of them. I just tried those two and then the, finally I did um, MTN Hitmaker. Hitmaker. And then that went well for me. And then even that, I almost didn't make it. It was... Richie's Richie, yeah, yeah, yeah Richie links, Lynch. yeah. He like he was like pushing for me. He was like Charlie, no, I know him because he knew that I could dance. Yeah. And then I think that he had heard me sing a couple of times. times. Okay. Yeah. So he was like Charlie, what could make you go through? Because the other judges, it was Magnum, oh. it was DJ Breezy, and then him. Okay. And then the two of them were like, nah, they ain't feeling, they ain't feeling me. Crazy. So Richie saw the potential. Yeah, so Richie saw. Grammy, you need to go and give Richie me. saw. So every time, <laughs> every time we talk and then, you know, every, every time I, I'm doing something great, he's texting me like, oh, Charlie, so you're doing so well. You know, like we have a very good relationship. Okay, I have two questions. Yeah. First question. Um, what is one song you wish you wrote? Hmm. One song I wish That I you wrote. heard is like, oh my God, this is such a good song. I wish I wrote this song. Uh, Charlie, mm -hmm. I think it will be Kovna Kovna's Asop. Oh my god, that's <laughs> sick. Yeah. I can see you do an Asop, though. Yeah, it will be do. crazy. You should do like a reboot with like Kovna Kovna, Becca, and you. It will be, it will be sick. Be so lit. <laughs> okay, second one. Who, who? What were your early musical influences when you were starting? So when you're in your, when you're in the bathroom and you're like mm -hmm, doing your stuff, mm -hmm. who are you listening to? Um, hmm. I love Kojo and Kri a lot. I love, mm -hmm. yeah, I love. Um, I love watching people perform. So I was watching a lot of Slim Basta. I was watching a lot of Terrible uh -huh. Chaka. I mean, I love all the old songs, all the the two thousands, the nineteen something something. Uh -huh. I love all those uh -huh. songs, right? Uh -huh. And then outside Ghana, I find myself listening to a lot of R and B people from. I see that. Yeah, a lot of I the R and old. I see a little Neo. Yeah, there's li a little bits of everything Everybody, in me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So. You'd realize that some of the songs that I even put out, I'm singing R and B on it. I'm flowing R and B on some of the songs. Yeah, and yeah. Uh -huh. I know vibes. you worked with Kwa for about five years. Mm -hmm. How do you think K working with? Because I know that was like your early stages, like yeah. the foundation of yeah. Mr. Drew becoming mm -hmm. Mr. Drew. Mm -hmm. What's one lesson you learned from Kwa that you feel like you've taken along the way that you wouldn't have learned if you were working with any other person? Hmm. I think it will be. Uh, wow. I think it would be more about patience. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I think it will be patient, uh, especially with um, where the lab his label was at that point in time. Yeah, um, he had to learn a lot of patience to, you know, accommodate certain things. And so for me, I think that that's one of the things that yeah, I learned. Yeah, that's really yeah. good. Um, so right now, let's fast forward to like MC and Hitmaker. Mm -hmm. What was what? Who was Mr. Drew then? How do you see? What is the difference between the Mr. Drew that had gone into the Hitmaker and the Mr. Drew now? What was your thought process throughout the entire competition? Mm -hmm. Your day by day, like rehearsing, going on stage, performing, yeah. and all of that. How? Who were the two? What, what do you think the juxtaposition of the two Mr. Drews um, are? I don't think there's been any any difference except for the fact that, you know, uh, there's experience, more, yeah, more experience, <laughs> Ob obviously more money. Yeah, okay. yeah, compared to the Mr. Drew then. Back then. Yeah, I know what I want. I, I think I found I, I found some percentage of myself, and I'm I'm still on a journey of finding myself a hundred percent. But for now, um, if you compare Mr. Drew to what Mr. Drew five years, six, seven years ago, you'd realize you know he can, you know, when it comes to even performances, his craft has has evolved yeah I'll say evolved. yeah the image has evolved um even how i speak or how i even sing on a song or you know just how i go about things are pretty pretty much different okay one last question how do you prepare yourself when you have to like um go for a performance yeah or if you have to get up because i don't think every day you have to do right yeah. you have to perform and you have to record a song that's how yeah. do you prepare yourself to get into that mr drew like mentality what is um, process? prepare myself. Take me from I when literally you wake up in the morning mm -hmm. to when you have to go on stage. Usually when I have a performance that I know is very huge, like let's say the TGMA performance, mm -hmm. right? Um, months before I was doing a lot of like cardio workouts. You know, I, I love to work out. So like uh, I changed from lifting weights or bulking up to like just doing bare cardios. And that way it helps you to like maintain your stamina on stage. Yeah, because you're singing and you're dancing, yeah. so your heart rate is going yep. up. Okay, so I your hear breath that. control is like peak, and mm -hmm. that type of performance I could do like five times in a row. Oh wow! If you tell me to do it like on that same day, if oh, I wow. yeah, and so I didn't even break a sweat. So like, okay. these are some of the things that I do. Like on a normal day, if it's a show, the stamina is already there, so I don't really do much. You okay. get it. I just pray about it and then I jump on stage and then do my thing. Awesome. Well, we're about to get to the honestly speaking part. Oh wow. This is where your fans have sent very, very serious questions. I beg. You think you're hot boy? The question I beg. Is here, please, I'm not. I didn't say that. I no, 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 no. We I will beg. not take it. So please, I'll just put your hand, right hand on your chest and your left hand out because you're coming to. Let's go. Do like this. I, then you say your name. I, Andrew. Promise to speak the honest truth. Promise. Be the honest truth. And nothing but the honest truth. And nothing but the honest truth. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> Guys, it's honestly speaking with Amaku and Mr. Drew. <laughs> when we get back, we're getting right into the hot questions. Okay? So stick and stay. Thank <laughs>
Welcome back, guys. It's still honestly speaking with Abba Kumadatin, and I'm here with the one and only Mr. Drew. Silly. See, before we get inside there, let's give me a the sneak, you know, mommy sneak <laughs> two line. Okay. Go. I'll be your sneaky link, I know. Hey, 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 hey. But I want more of you. <sighs> Things where you did do me, girl, okay. you did drive me low. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's mm, okay. Baby, Hi. make you not do me out. <laughs> You and love you treat me better oh, when I'm cold on China Reda. Me say on China Reda. Oh my god! It's okay if you sing too much. Eh? I beg, I beg, I beg. Okay, now we're gonna go straight into it. So please, right. the questions are from your fans, mm -hmm. and we need you to be telling us the truth. Okay. Okay. I'll try. Are you ready? I'll try. Okay, we're going straight into it. <laughs> Question number one. Mm -hmm. Kwabena from Spintex wants you to tell us how you were able to transition yourself from being a dancer to becoming one of the biggest musicians in yeah. Ghana. Hey Kwabena, um, mm. I literally just stopped dancing. Literally. I just had to rebrand. I had to look different. I had to push a different narrative. So I, I stopped dancing for a while and then I, I was just focusing on the music. Like I sold the music rather than the dance and that's what worked for me. Like when I started initially I wasn't even making it about dance. me being able to dance. I was making it about just the music and then people fell in love with the music so now when they speak about Mr. Drew they don't just speak about his dance his music his music is good as well so that's what has helped me and that's how I rebranded but would you say that starting off as a dancer has gone a long way into crafting or molding the type of musician yeah, you are because yeah. you are already a performer yeah. yeah I mean for becoming a dancer you learn a lot of things like even how you listen to music, how you listen to instrumentals. So it influences you in different, different ways. Yeah. Your timing, when you're on stage, listening to music, and like your musicality is on a different level if you can combine, you know, musicality as a musician and then musicality as a dancer. Combining but that. I feel like too. the way dancers hear music is different. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I have both, so. Yeah, do you get? Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's why you are so top, 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 top. Thanks, top. thanks. No bad music. No, no bad. No, music. no, no, not at all. Always jealous. Yes. Um, Kwabna again. Hey, Kwabna. Kwabna. Hey. Shout out to Kwabna. Kwabna <laughs> again wants to know how you balance your passion for both dance and music. He's doing both. Uh, <laughs> Abby, yeah. Abby is a musician who gives us six Yeah, um, how do I balance it? Mm -hmm. It's not easy, but I think it just comes naturally to me. And Sana Nami that's how God has created me. So I'm just, I'm just I have glad. a follow up question. Mm -hmm. So be, you see how like the, in, the industry has become now with TikTok and stuff yeah. like that. Seeing how music was from back then mm -hmm. and how now, how is your process when you're making music? Do you be like, okay, chorus no, mm -hmm. or you better TikTok dance, yeah. <laughs> yeah. or is that how you, like, do you have that in the back of your mind Never. when you're recording a song, <laughs> or when you finish the song, uh -huh. and then you hear them, like, okay, this place is a yeah. TikTok place. How do you do that? Um, so, for me, when I'm creating music, I don't really look at where we'll use for this and where we, else you might not create a very song. good song. Yeah, okay. you might create pieces. Like, you know, you listen to certain songs, you're like, okay, everything blends together. And then certain songs, you, you feel the cut and paste in there. Mm. It doesn't connect, mm. right? Mm. And I don't want to make that type of music. So usually I don't even look at how I'm going to promote it. I just create the music. If it's nice, then now we look at how we're going to promote it. So it's after you're done with the song that you can think of. Can we use the chorus? So it becomes a little bit difficult because it's you didn't create it with the yeah, idea of... Yeah, so I'm always finding the challenge with like finding a particular place to use for the song and that's what happens when you create genuinely yeah, you get it. yeah, yeah. I hear that. okay rosie from tema is asking what inspired the concept behind sneaky link rosie <laughs> i think honestly like i think i was somebody sneaky link in, in in some few years ago oh okay yeah and then she ended up telling me that oh do you know do you know like i just sat down with my friends and then i told them oh i'm gonna get him yeah, and, and I was like, wow. Mr. Drew. Wow. No, it's not that getting you on the town. Oh, no. no you it's, not, your mind it's, not, it's, not, it's not It's not how you get... It's not easy like that. It's not easy like... Okay, yeah, okay. It's, it's not easy like so that. But this one was very song. persistent. Oh. I was like, okay. We move. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I think that people can relate to it in a way. Like, especially the the youth now. A lot a lot of us can relate to being somebody sneaky. Because China, Charlie... People are seeing other people, the but then they are seeing other people too. Mm. You understand? Uh -huh. Some people are just there to 
satisfy some people it doesn't go beyond that you know yeah, yeah, yeah so um and i know i know even the crew stuff i should say boys some of the boys this get table that you are shaking. some yeah. of the boys get them as sneaky links this you get here you get here yeah, yeah he has abena one and abena two it's true you get it so yeah um sneaky link that's where i get got the idea from I, i've been there and you are looking at me <laughs> you are there no? you've hmm. been there what hello <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry, the next one. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. So you're not somebody sneaky link? Oh, no. Thank you. I'm the main link. Viewers, yeah. did you hear? I'm the main link. Yeah, yeah, you can still be the main link, but, but you're still... Else. Hey, I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Blessing from Bogotan. <laughs> <laughs> Blessing from Bogotan. Right. I want to know how you were able to deal with peer pressure in SHS. Ah, uh, peer pressure. Hmm. Or were you the one giving the pressure? <laughs> Me. I was very quiet in school, honestly. Oh, okay, I okay. very timid guy, but I like I loved I loved um, making everybody happy, right? Mm-hmm. So you, I, I, I was literally the class clown. Oh, yeah. Should I say clown? You. Clown or like? You just made people laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I, I, I loved to keep to myself, respecting people's spaces and yeah. So you barely have a lot to say about Mr. Drew, like oh, yeah? Andrew in in Mr. Motown. Okay. Yeah. I, Guys, if you guys have some backstory about Andrew me, Motown, me, drop it, drop nothing, it in the comments. Nothing, nothing. Drop it in the comments. We want to know. Spill nothing, the tea. Nothing. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Terry Newman wants to know why you are playing hide and seek with <laughs> Terry. Really? Terry. Terry wants to know why you are playing hide and seek with your hair. Ah, uh, <laughs> hey, Terry. Terry, Terry, let me. Okay, Terry, you hold on. What I do with my hair is not your issue, Terry. Leave my hair alone and my head alone yeah i can wake up one day and say you know i'm gonna do dreads i'm gonna yeah Yeah. i'll do a mohawk so don't expect the sakura always the bowed cut yeah is for the ladies they love it and they do do? yeah the ladies love it yeah they're tired of seeing the dreads all the time time. yeah they want to feel some skin and this one when i shave it feels like a baby's buttocks it's very smooth Terry nice. Newman again is asking, <laughs> is asking, has the public reaction on your new look affected you to go back to the Sakura? No, not really. Um, uh, I grew my hair out because of Sneaky, because I wanted to, you remember I did dye my hair a while mm. ago. Yeah, my beard actually, mm. I dyed my beard. Uh, so it was just, would you say it's just like for promo? Yeah, stands, yeah, 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 yeah. Got having, people talking. Yeah, what people are doing relationship, you are just cutting your hair. Cutting and my hair, hair, that's all. And dying it. <laughs> that's oh, all, yeah. I don't have to do Your next to. single, we are waiting to see what you do. Maybe next single, I cut my finger or something. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then the next one, you'll sell <laughs> Maybe I'll Maybe do that. Maybe you should wear a skirt. Or something. I think I've, I've I've worn a skirt before. You have? Yeah, I uh, think you've I have. Been there, done I, I've done everything. I've oh, done everything. Sorry. Maybe I'll do makeup. Ooh. I'll shave yeah. everything and I'll do makeup. I like that. Sakura. Like with the bowed. Oh my god. Let's be coming Crazy. Though. Right now I'm seeing the imagery. It's a bit it's wild. It's disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay, Mariam from Awo, she says you are also known for your dance moves. Yeah. If you had to battle another Ghanaian artist in the dance of who would it be and why? I love this question. Who would it be? Wow. And why? <laughs> battle. I don't think I'm I'm in the form to battle anybody, honestly. I don't I think that's a lie. I don't I don't I, I can try. Lie. I can I think try. You could go head to head with Showtime. Mm. Am I lying? I could go head to head with everybody. Hey. Yeah, everybody. It's true though. Even though it's not in my I'm not in that space anymore. I could definitely because go they were head all to head. Teammates, yeah, man. I could de- give me give me like some prep time, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I could definitely go head to head, toe to toe with everybody. All, all the, all, everybody. All the yeah. Um but I'm Danny, not in that space anymore. No, so. yeah, not yeah. Danny Freaks from Tamale wants you to tell us how being an independent artist has changed your perspective in the music yeah. industry. Um nothing has changed actually because I was what I'm doing now, I was doing it whilst I was on a label. You know, so nothing has changed at all. The same way I was pushing my music, that's how I'm pushing it now. And so it kind of feels like <laughs> being an independent artist. That's how it feels like mm. when I was on the label. Yeah, yeah, We're it's still the same. Doing the same yeah, thing. It's, it's still the same thing. So, but nothing. do you find it that it's more difficult to like? Um, it's it's more f- 
free. Okay. It's more free. Because you have the liberty to like yep. do what you want. It's more free do. and then you, you know what's happening. You know, you have full control, 100% control. So <laughs> being would, an independent artist is quite easier. Would you say that you, you, you maybe you learned the hard way mm -hmm. and then that's why you feel like you're doing... Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Um, I did learn the hard way, yeah. uh -huh. okay. and and so um, mere mere independence is yeah, is things are easier for me, and you know we're trying, we're trying our best. Yeah, you are. You're doing yeah. well. You're doing well. Uh, right now, dear, you're not even here anymore, so Ace. it's okay. Ace. Kelly <laughs> wants you to share a funny moment that happened during re the recording of Sneaky Link. Sneaky link. Hmm. Did I have somebody in the studio by then? I was about to ask you, you know. Did I have you, somebody in the you see the way you're... So was there a girl in the booth so that she would put you in the mood? Maybe. Know? Maybe. Maybe there was a sneaky link. In the booth, in the studio. In the studio or on the phone or, hey. you know. Hey, yeah. Mr. Drew. Or a couple of sneaky links. And my children, so. Yeah, a couple of sneaky links. A couple. But yeah, okay. um, recording it was a vibe. And I think the initial beat is not what people are hearing now. That's oh. not yeah. The initial beat was quite different, and then we had to change the beat. So. Why? Um, is this sexier than the beats first? Beats vampire sold the beat. Or see what tone? So we had to make another one. Oh. Yeah. Do you produce? Mm, you like I doing? just record myself. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Maybe you should start doing it so that mm. nobody be flexing. Mm. <laughs> Vampire, why would you do that? Yeah, mm. I think he didn't know. He didn't know. He gave he gave me the beat a while ago, and oh, I was taking yeah, I was just time. taking my time. Yeah, okay, okay. So I was like this boy. So is this a song we know right now? Mm. And I'll tell you, no, I'm, I'm blow. Yeah, he didn't know. Yeah, oh, didn't Vampire, so wait, 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 <laughs> like now, you, it didn't do it. well, yeah, because I haven't heard it anywhere. Oh, the best if he released it before I released mine. Oh, then it's okay. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sure he has a beat waiting for you now. Papa, <laughs> come and have Oh, that's my guy. Back. That's my guy. So you do it. Eh? That's my guy. Yeah. So hype lord said your song Chase didn't win the TGMA, but three music is. Oh, does it mean case? Case. Ah, okay, case. Yeah. Okay, he meant case. Yeah. Um, it's around the corner. Any predictions on how many awards you are taking on? I think this happened before. Yeah. So, and uh, you took none. You take any awards? Yeah. But does that bother you though? Um, in the moment it will bother you because you're human, right? Okay. But then after a while you're like, ah, Charlie. So where would you say your fulfillment comes from with you as an artist? Like what? I know that yes, you want the accolades and the mm -hmm. awards and stuff, but mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis, what do you see or what happens that makes you feel? Yes, this is what I'm meant to do, and like, where do you get your fulfillment from? Um, I think that when everybody knows the song, and you know that everybody knows the song, and you they know what it has done for them. Like when I make music, and then I'm getting messages in my DMs, and like, your song has helped me so Aww. much. Oh my God, I love this song so much. I'm listening to it all the time. I lo like it takes my mind off okay. setting. Yeah, I'm like Charlie, nah. Yeah, the song is doing what it's supposed yeah. to do. So, yeah. and you know, performing it and then watching people like sing along to it, and then they, like you can you can feel the happiness emanating from them. You're like Charlie, nah. You, you did the dance. Yeah. So thing. for me, that's seeing people love my music and then my music changing people's lives. That's 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 great. Yeah, I like that. Princess Chuchis is asking between Maya Blue and Sefa, which of them will you keep as a sneaky link, and which one will you keep as a girlfriend? Dun, dun, dun. Who is doing this one? This one is Princess Chichis. <laughs> Charlie. Wow. It's the way you are looking around. There's nobody here that can help you. So wait, 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 wait. Tackle the question head on. Sefa and who? Um, Maya Blue. Maya Blue. Hmm. Who's going to be your girlfriend? Who's going to be your sneaky? Ladies, please don't take. <laughs> don't, don't be offended. Mm. <laughs> Charlie. Sneaky links, all of them. Both of them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't. I don't I do girlfriends. I was about to ask you some questions. For hey. now. Ladies, if you are the one, he said you are not his <laughs> girlfriend. So today, sixteen. Give him. Hey, sneaky links only. Hey, no girlfriends. No. Is that no, what you are no, teaching no, the children? No, 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 no. Ah, no, no, you have no, changed no. your mind. I've changed my mind. So who is going to be the girlfriend? Today? Sneaky links still, but not only sneaky link so maybe those start as a sneaky link they, they maybe will fall in love too. Into, uh -huh. you know both three of us will fall in love huh huh mm? never mind yeah <laughs> <laughs> kwami snitch from mampro b says tell us one of the biggest challenges faced 
challenges facing in the Ghanaian music industry today and what solutions do you propose? Hmm. Challenges. Um, I think our royalty system. Oh. Yeah. It's always going to be a, a conversation we'd have to, you know, discuss. Um, or a topic we have to discuss. Um, how to monetize our works and then get the monies that we're supposed to get from them. Um, from what? Radio plays to... Even people playing it in the pub, mm -hmm. we need to and the be getting. Of yeah, movies, you understand. You, you wake up in Ghana and then your song is being used for adverts and you know being used in movies. You're like, wait, what's happening? Like, and you're not being paid for it, right? Yeah. So this is a, a huge problem for us. So you realize most of the artists survive on performances. It's true. Yeah, most of us. And unfortunately, it's not like that outside. Unless, yeah, outside, unless they're doing like tours. Mm -hmm. Or they are making money from their streams and then like endorsement deals and stuff. But here, if you perform, else you go hung. Because, mm. one, our people don't even... How many of us can even... Or how many audiences in Ghana have access to like Spotify, Apple yeah, Music? Sure. Yeah, they will just go and download free on the site. And yeah. even now, it's getting better. First, it was so bad. It was more of like free download, free download. But now, I see people using Audio Mac a lot. Yeah. Because it's quite you know, easier to get and yeah, even that one cries free. Yeah. Yeah. It's free. It's one free. last question before we go. We're about okay. to do rapid fire. Right. What was the moment that you saw that hey nana I blew? <laughs> what was that moment? Mm. When 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 hey. when the pub when the pub by by my house was playing a song. Yeah, my song. I was like, wow. Because we were eating KK. You had a high and you <laughs> Yeah, and it's like <laughs> proper local pub. And I was like, wow. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I feel like the masses are with the local. Trust me. Yeah, trust so. me. Trust well, me. Well, it's still, honestly speaking, I'm here with Mr. Drew. We've been having a break. You did well. You spoke honestly. Try, mm. try. What I didn't like. Back? You didn't like. What we did back? I like? We're rapid fire questions. Okay, no, yeah. Okay, no, okay. Yeah, well. Stick and stay with us. We're about to go on a quick commercial break. When we come back, it's rapid fire with Mr. Drew. It is me, Abakuma Datsun. We're about to do rapid fire with Mr. Dream. Mr. Dream, are you ready? I'm me, I'm, when I say it's I'm not, fired up. Let's it's go. basically this or that. When I say it's not, quack, 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 quack. no, yeah, what? Okay, go. let's go. Quit dancing or quit doing music? Quit dancing. Mm -hmm. Always feel hungry or always feel tired? Tired. Lose your passport or lose your smartphone? Hey. How are you thinking about this? Passport. Uh huh. Eh? You lose your passports rather than yeah. okay, yeah, okay, I feel you. <laughs> Be known for dancing or music, I think it's obvious. Yeah. Music. Yeah, music. Right? Yeah. Um, Stone Boy or Shatawale? I can't choose. They are all my friends. Okay, Drake yeah. or Kendrick? I can't choose. I love all of them. I love all of them. <laughs> for future working purposes. Yeah, yeah, for future working purposes. <laughs> I beg Read you. minds or control time? Um, hmm, control time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather break your break hearts or have your heart broken? This break hearts. Hmm. Mm. Um, break. Uh, <laughs> you see, it's actually here. Yeah, break someone's heart or get your heart broken. <laughs> um, AKA Ebeneza or Kwejo and Cancer Lil Wayne. Both of them. I love both of them. Pick one, sir. I love both of them. Okay, fine. Yeah. yeah. Money or passion? Money. Um, new phone or new clothes? New clothes. Okay. Well, thank you so much. That has been Rapid Fire with you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Please tell, tell your fans something mm -hmm. before you leave. Okay, I want to say um, big shout out to everybody that loves my music, keeps supporting. I've got an EP coming, Lover wow. Boy Era. Okay. Yeah, so watch out. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be lovely. Something for my ladies, you know. Period. We're outside. Um, yeah, next time. I might have a finger, I might not have a finger, so watch out. <laughs> <laughs> well, and yeah, follow me everywhere, check out my stuff, join my challenges on TikTok. True that. And tag me, I repost them. Silly. <laughs> Silly. Okay, it's been me talking to Mr. Drew, and honestly speaking, I've been your host, Abakuma. That's it. Remember to follow us 
um, Farmhouse Productions on all social media platforms. Remember, if you have some questions for your favorite celebrities, send the questions. Follow us, follow me at Abakumba That's It, and I'll be back again with another guest. And until then, it's bye. Let me say, Sele. Sele. Period. Period. Period.